Can you smell that in the air, ladies and gentlemen? That's the wonderful smell that iron gives off when people are beating the hammers and forging their own future, forging their own stories, and creating the things that are absolutely going to take the future by storm. And for those of you who may not know, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to A Drink With Crazy. My name is Royce, and I hope that this will be the first of a wonderful series to come. I'm going to call this like First Impression Wednesdays or Wednesday Firsts. Maybe I'll call it Wednesday Firsts. Yeah, that sounds way better. So in this first episode of Wednesday Firsts, let me tell you what's going to happen. I dropped a tweet on Twitter and said, hey, I love doing first impression videos, right? That's basically where I really don't know what's on the website. I really don't know what stories are there. But if people who are out there who are following this movement and just believe in what's coming out, they are creating amazing stories. And I want to do my best to shout out everybody that I can. Time is limited, though. However... If I can make this a regular Wednesday thing, I think not only can I shout out the new creators and give them an audience and hopefully share my audience with them, but it also takes a lot less thinky think power for me on Wednesdays so I can do videos. So thank you guys so much for working for me. I appreciate it. No, I'm just kidding. But ultimately what this is, is I really do like doing first impression videos and um, so for those of you who commented, I made my decision on what video that I are on what I'm going to cover. Hopefully you guys enjoy this. So without any further ado, here we are on Periopsis Press. So Periopsis Press commented and she is over on Twitter. And asked if I had checked out anything that she had done. And I said, well, no, not really. Periopsis Press looks like she is over here doing what Iron Age Media is doing. Covering the multiple stories and multiple things coming up. Look at all of this. Dream of the Iron Dragon review. Uh, the governess of Green Mar review. Ooh, that looks really cool. So, ladies and gentlemen, we have another another person out here doing their best to shine a light on the people out there covering the new stories so let's go to reviews real quick and just see everything oh my goodness lord wow there is a lot here wow they have definitely been putting in some work and for those of you who don't know let's go over to twitter and you can follow katie room over here on Red Hedge Dragon on Twitter. And I am very excited to see exactly what we're getting into here. Hopefully, all of these books are from smaller creators. I've obviously not read all these, so I can't be. But this is exactly what we need. We need to build a community around all of the people out there who decide, <coughs> oh, excuse me, to cover what's happening. Oh, that's a, that's totally a spawn. That's totally spawn inspired. Oh my gosh, that looks so good. Ooh, Adam Lane Smith. Ooh, but you know what? Let's go up to the one that caught my eye right here. A distinctly English feeling gothic fantasy. Ooh, big titty goth girl. Never mind. <laughs> Katie Room over here. The governess of Green Mar is a distinctly English feeling fantasy uh, novella featuring... Um, and featuring a good dog, Fallen Angels, and Merlin. This standalone book combines gothic fiction, Arthurian legend, and Christian myth in a tight story set in Paul Leon's immortal champion's world. Uh, here at the Perapsy Press blog, we only post reviews of works we recommend, so you already know I enjoyed The Governess of Greenmar. I encourage you to check it out. And oh my goodness, look at all of this. This is fantastic. Just the amount of information here that Katie Room is doing, that is wonderful. This is exactly what we need for the Iron Age of Creators. This is exactly what we need. And again, not having read any of these, 
I don't know if these are smaller creators. If they are not, that's fine because why not support other creators as well who are doing the work of sharing good stories? I don't think that that's a bad thing at all. Oh, and without any further ado, tonight I'm drinking Big Wave. So look at all of the work that she has been putting in. Ooh, David Room. Is that a relation by chance? Let's go down here. I want to go to this guy here. This Adam Lane Smith. This Castle uh, Castle of the Blood Cross review. Yeah, that looks freaking good. Let's do it. Let's go. Oh, it's not currently available. Why? Why is it not currently available? No, no, I wanted it to be currently available. No, no, that's uh, so excited for nothing. All right. Let Sleeping Gods Lie review. All right, review by Katie Room. Wow, she has been doing a ton of work and going back quite a ways here. Let Sleeping Gods Lie is a weird uh, is a weird Western fantasy combining the thrills of California frontier with the chills of cosmic horror, gunfights, and strange art strange artifacts, monsters, a good dog, and of course, Sleeping Gods. Uh, Pepper in the first book and the Cowboys and Cthulhu series. That's freaking cool. You know, the Western aspects of the story takes the foreground early on, while the artifacts and references to the stars twinge and the tensions with the flavor of the weird. The action is largely drawn from the Gold Rush setting, a rough first fight in a bar, gunfights in the wilderness, pursuing the bad guy on horseback. The action escalates quickly to keep the reader's focus on the mundane. That is two. I think that's the wrong two there, Katie. Uh, I think you meant T-O, not T-double-O, possibly. Uh, adventures. Maybe you did mean two. Wait, did I read that wrong? I, I think I read that wrong. In the Old West, even as the stakes are raised from the <laughs> on the stranger side of things. So, ladies and gentlemen, we now have another place to go to see if there are it's science fiction and fantasy. So, we have another place we can go to check out new authors, new books that we may not have read before new things that are coming out and i am very excited that so many people out there are getting on board with the idea of making sure that good storytelling doesn't die making sure that people are absolutely shining a light on these things one of the biggest things that i absolutely love about this whole iron age movement and it is a movement and if it ever becomes anything different than just a movement just a collection just a feeling of people it's going to go away. But I think as long as we all come to the idea of no, we're just in it for good storytelling. We're here like Katie Room is writing reviews, reading things, making sure that she likes it and she recommends it for everybody out there to see. Similar to what I'm doing on my channel. I'm just not half as talented in my freaking pinky toe as she is. Like I like or no, she's more she. The entire talent that I have in my whole body is half as much talent as she has in her pinky toe. That's what I'm trying to say. Holy crap, I suck at this whole metaphor thing. But this is exactly what we need to do. We need to shine a light on the good stories, the good storytelling, and the good people out there. We need to make sure that the stories that are coming out now and the cream that we want to rise to the top we are shining a light on because if we don't if we don't point it out if we don't say what we like if we don't avoid the crap garbage of the mainstream or the old stream or whatever they are actually somebody called them the ice age the other day because that's what that's the level of storytelling i believe that was garcia xv legend on my channel he called them the ice age of media well we are the iron age of media we will be forged in fire and we will with our hearts our minds and our intellects charge forward we will make sure that good storytelling is observed once again and i am absolutely excited to share katie room's website the i i Peropsis press so that way everybody knows what's going on with younger creators with newer creators and how exactly they can support the iron age 
So ladies and gentlemen, I hope that you enjoyed this video. I'm coming off the cuff like this, doing a first impressions, literally not knowing what I'm getting into. Didn't know this was a website, thought it was gonna be a story site. It's not, it's a website aggregating all of these stories that she has read, she recommends, and she is going for. And so for all of you out there, hopefully you guys like this first impressions. And ladies and gentlemen, if you like what I am doing here on A Drink With Crazy, never forget to go down in the comments below whether you love me or hate me and let me know because that is one of my favorite things to do is answer your comments as much as I can. And not only is it one of my favorite things, but I also dedicate a special live stream at 11 a.m. Central. I'm gonna say that right, it's at 11 p.m. the other, at 11 a.m. Central on Sundays called Sunday Coffee, where I read all of the comments that come into the videos of my channels and even some of the ones that come in on my live streams, uh, mostly like all the ones that the comments that come in on my live streams, not the live chat, but I dedicate a special Sunday stream to everybody out there who supports this channel by taking time to comment and share your thoughts. That is my goal. If you guys are going to take time for me, I'm going to take time for you. And I want all of you to know how utterly appreciative I am of exactly what you guys are doing out there by sharing each other's content, by becoming a fantastic community strengthened by individuals. The community is lifting up the individuals. The individuals are lifting up the community. And it seems to be this really, really awesome, harmonious, harmonious thing. So ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time. Cheers, everybody. Thank you all for being here on A Drink With Crazy. If you guys never want to miss a notification for the channel, go down in the link in the description and click that button to follow me and support me over on Locals. It's free to join, but that's where you can support me with money if you so choose. Also, don't forget to click those Rumble and Odyssey links so that way we can get over there and keep that growing. And until next time, cheers, everybody.